Boy King Thrash back at it once again with another video. Remember to like, subscribe, don't like, don't subscribe. Skip basketball, skip the gym, skip chilling with the homies, buy some popcorn, buy some drink, and sit your ass in the house and watch Game of Thrones, even though niggas don't know you watch Game of Thrones, nigga do what you do. Nigga do what you do. If you like Game of Thrones, watch Game of Thrones. I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones tonight. You best believe I need to see some medieval titties. You best believe I think Daenerys gonna get naked at least one more time. I got I need that. Yearly. Yearly. That nigga Jon Snow about to smack that shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Do what you do. Okay? Let's get on with this game of news. Damn, I'm talking about. You know how I do, niggas. Y'all niggas know. I, I, talk, I talk about shit people don't talk about. Cause, you know. Of course, it's, it's my, I, I didn't avoid Microsoft, but it's this one main topic I was talking about with Microsoft. And it's not bad. It's just really looking at the history of, of, of Microsoft and, and the mistakes that have been made and the lies that has been said leading up to what we have today. You see, these niggas have been lying for a minute, minute. Not a regular minute, like nigga black people minute, cuz... You know what I'm saying? Our minutes take a minute. I'll be like, I'll be there in a minute. Nigga, I'm going to be there in two hours. You know what I'm saying? So it's like double normal. You feel me? And, you know, um, just looking back at the problems. You know, the Xbox One first started. Not the Xbox One. The Xbox OG. That's, oh, God, that fucking name. But the Xbox regular. Nigga, the first Xbox to come out. The only problem it really had was that it came out too late and the controller was trash as fuck. And for some reason, they bringing that shit back. Like, why, nigga? To sell more controllers, nigga? Oh, my God, it had to be the worst controller ever made, nigga. It really did. It was just clumsy as fuck. But the console itself was decent for what it brought. It was more powerful, but back then people didn't give a fuck about power. Even Microsoft was trying to brag about power back then, but people didn't give two fucks. We was too busy playing games to give a fuck about all that extra shit. Just give me games and let me do what I do. So they didn't really have too many problems with the Xbox One besides it coming out too late. And that's basically it. They didn't have too many great, great, great games except Halo. You know what I'm saying? But then the 360 came out. Three, four years after that. It was real quick. You know what I'm saying? And the 360 came out, and it started off wonderful. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It launched with good, with good games and shit. It had a nice little steady pace. It didn't have no competition whatsoever. None. It was a next-gen console, and it had no competition. Sony was still riding the PlayStation 2 train. All right? And the PlayStation 2 ended up sending $120 million, so kudos to that. But Microsoft took that opportunity and they seized it. And they seized it correctly. I can't, you can't deny the correctness of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they took advantage of it. And they took a lot of the market share. You know what I'm saying? That the PS3 would have had. Now, it's a lot of things that, uh, that are skipped over and glossed over when it comes to this whole market share thing. But I'll get on that a little bit later. But up until the PS3 came out, the Xbox One, I mean Xbox 360, it was doing great. And it still did great after the PS3 came out. It still had games coming out better, looking better, because people had that year head start. You know what I'm saying? And the PlayStation 3 was all powerful, but it was hard to develop for. The cell processor was a motherfucking bitch. Okay? The, the cell processor was the big four in dominoes. It was the one that just nags you. You feel, <clears throat> you feel me? So, you know, it took a while for people to get a hold of that. And, and again, Microsoft took advantage. They went and they got marketing deals. They did some shit with Grand Theft Auto. They did some shit with Call of Duty. They took advantage, they took advantage of a lot of shit and it paid off. <clears throat> 
But then their problems start to show the fuck up. You see, when they built the 360, they rushed that motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? They rushed it to take advantage of that year. And what they did was they built a console that wasn't good. They built a bad console. So it had a 60% failure rate, the rare rings of death, costing them $1.3 billion. All right? They did all that work. They put all that money in. They did all of that shit. And it costed them $3 billion. I think three. I mean, $1.3 billion. All right? Now, that was mistake number one because they rushed it. And they had to hurry up and, and repay it to, to maintain their people because this ca this happened like at, at one of the worst times. The PlayStation Three was just now having having price drops and and everybody with Blu-ray was kicking in. They went and they made the mistake of, of adopting HD instead of actual actual Blu-rays. It was they just did the whatever it was called back then HD. I just think it was just called HD or some shit like that. And HD DVDs didn't sell well. Blu-rays did. Blu-rays were the now, and that's what helped PlayStation, you know, come back and, and make up for that year that's been gone. And that fucked up price that they had. You know what I'm saying? People wasn't having it, including me. I showed them by one until they fucking brought that price down. Now, that was blunder number one was rushing it. They had the controller right. They had the games. They had the exclusives. Blunder number one was the motherfucking... Red Rings of Death. But while the Red Rings of Death was happening and it was going on and there was this big old thing about it, they announced the Project Nathal, which was mistake number two. Because they lied about far too much shit with Project Nathal. You know what I'm saying? They that's that's the that's, that's the connect for y'all niggas who don't know. The connect one. Alright? They lied. They said the shit was supposed to be able to talk back to you, remember your name, fucking, you can use the camera with your homegirl, change clothes with it, and all the hell type of shit that them niggas promised with it and did not deliver on. They had, com they had commercials showing the shit happening, and it never happened. All right? A lot of people bought in on it. They, 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 they copied the Wii. See, the, when the Wii came out, the re the we destroyed everybody. The, you, you guys think that it's Xbox who took Sony's market share? Oh no, it was the motherfucking we. The we took a whole lot of market share. That's why everybody wondering where is that market share now? To where they sold 110 million. Neither one of these consoles combined hasn't sold um, 110 million. So where is everybody at, nigga? Well, them niggas is still either playing the Wii or like they, they grabbed a lot of casuals. It wasn't really too much of a hardcore audience, but see, the PS2 what had casuals and it had hardware. I mean, it had not hardcore, my bad. PS2 had hardcore and it had casuals. The, the, nobody bought a GameCube, my nigga. There wasn't really too much competition for the PS2. So they had that full-on crowd, that Nintendo crowd and the PlayStation crowd and the Xbox crowd didn't really exist back then. It had just built up that year, but it was mainly from PS2 dudes who didn't want to wait for the PS3 and Nintendo dudes who didn't really, you know, would wanted to get a Nintendo or wait for a Nintendo Wii. So when the Wii finally came out and it showed some shit that your grandma like, they they went and they grabbed the crowd of people that just wanted to enjoy games in a different way and to make it easy and simple, the simplicity of it all. So it took in a lot of casuals. Something that Xbox wanted to emulate, something that Mike me on PlayStation wanted to emulate, and they both failed horribly at it. See, Sony gave up on the on the whole copy of Nintendo thing after after they did the move, but Microsoft kept it going. They 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 stopped Rare, who they took from Nintendo, and instead of capitalizing on the games that they could have and grabbed more of that Nintendo crowd. They instead had them make Kinect games and fucking avatars. Also a, a Nintendo thing, a fucking trying to copy off the little uh, Miis and shit. Alright, now, they were having those two problems at the same time. And at the same time trying to find themselves. They had games that were coming out or came out like Gears and all that good shit. 
you know, Bayonetta came out first on it, and it was, it did it good, and all that good shit. Sports games were playing better, all that, all that shit. But they wanted more. The niggas wanted more, but then they lost so much of their budget. If they, if the Red Rings of Death never happened, the Xbox would probably be in a different way right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that that shit really fucked over the Xbox. The Red, more than what you think. Because they spent a lot of money that they could have spent elsewhere on fixing other Xboxes. And then they had to make a whole new Xbox 360 to to get rid of the Red Rings of Death, which it finally did. And people bought them, including myself. But then by then it was too late already. The PS3 started kicking up, the Uncharted 2s came out, the Uncharted 3s came out. You know what I'm saying? Ratchet and Clank was popping. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it became more and more. Sony started to really hit them hard with games. They do. They did what they do best. They kept their focus on games. They didn't flounder or anything. They fucked up on the price. They fucked up on the attitude during the PS3 era, and they fucking had felt the price. But at the end of the day, they brought games. Fuck the power that they had. All that they brought fucking games. Good games. Games that count. Games that matter. Games that people want. Mainstream games. You know what I'm saying? And when they did that, that really helped them get away with all the shit. Not really get away, but just helped them get by on all the shit that they did. You know what I'm saying? Help them get by. Microsoft, meanwhile, had to spend money and wasted a whole lot of time fixing Xboxes and, and, and doing PR on that shit and saying that it's finally over and all this good shit and trying to give you ways to fix it. And it was just a mess at Xbox at that point. On top of Project NATO starting to flop, it was it was working out pretty good at first, but then when people started seeing that lies were being told to them, it was a wrap. It was a fucking wrap. So what they do? They start making the con the Xbox One. The PS3 had already had they already had been out a year ahead of PS3. They 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 what they they were a year older than the PS3, and they 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 were starting to lose. The PlayStation 3 won every month after it came out. Every single month, it beat the Xbox One, I mean Xbox 360. So Microsoft already knew that PlayStation was coming, and it was coming hard. So they stopped making games. They 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 lost all their money since 2011. I think Alan Wake was their last exclusive that was actually AAA mainstream type game. You know what I'm saying? 2011. They had a great year. 2000. That's when Bayonetta came out. All that shit came out. A lot of shit came out that year. But that was the last new AAA game was Alan Wake. And they wouldn't get another new AAA game until Rise of Xbox One. Which, in which, little niggas, was actually a Kinect game for the 360. That's how much they was into the, the Kinect. That's how much they tried to put their money into the Kinect. Bad decision after bad decision. They started to ignore the hardcore gamer and try to go after the, the casuals because they saw a market in it that they didn't see before because they never take risks. So my, Nintendo, they take that risk every time. And that risk paid off that generation. And Microsoft tried to emulate it like they did everything else. So then the Xbox One comes out. Xbox One comes out, they fumble that motherfucking shit at the gate. The second they re revealed the fucking shit, they say, okay, we got Connect 2.0. Everybody hates the Connect by now because it didn't deliver on what they promised. And all they seen was Connect game after Connect game on the 360. And then these Connect games are some games they didn't want. It was kid games. Kid games. They talked about how it can. It can see an infrared and all that good shit and how much technology and all this money that they spent on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and still, still nothing. Still, still, they, they brought it anyway. On top of DRM, on top of this whole you can't trade your games in, and type of all this, you, you had to do 24 hour check ins, and all that bullshit that gamers hated. They did everything that gamers hated. They forgot just to sit back and make some fucking games instead of doing all this shit. After they spent a billion dollars on fixing. The Red Rings of Death, they went and they turned around and spent even more, not even more, but they spent, like, I think 10 million 
to do another connect and then box it with the fucking Xbox One. The connect costed almost as much as it did to make an Xbox One. It costed the same amount to make it. And then it had the, the nerve to bundle it in. You know what I'm saying? And then when that when all that shit happened, all those 180s was going on because it wasn't because y'all niggas was mad, nigga. It was because y'all niggas didn't spend y'all money. That's why. It wasn't nothing else. Nothing else changed. I guarantee you they wouldn't have changed anything. If them pre-orders would have stayed the same, they wouldn't have changed a fucking thing, bro. Not a fucking thing. Don't ever think that they did it because of you. No, they did it because they wasn't making money. They saw the pre-orders show just how much people wanted it. They saw the PlayStation numbers in pre-orders, and they saw day numbers in pre-orders, and they said, shit, we have to fix something. We have to fix something ASAP. These are the same people who told you that you got to deal with it, my nigga. Deal with it. If you don't like it, buy an Xbox 360. We got a, we got a, we got a system that, that uh, doesn't have online only or, or online check-ins. It's called the 360. Get that shit. In other words, you were just saying, nigga, suck a dick, bend the fuck over, nigga. If you don't like it, then where your mama at, because I bend her over. That's what the fuck they saying. You know what I'm saying? So, it, 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 that's how it went on in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And then they did the little 360s, right? Or the 180s, my bad. <laughs> they did the little 180s. And, and they fixed a few things. Not all, but a few things. But then they, then, what they didn't tell you is they fucked up on building the fucking Xbox One, too. They fucked up on building the Xbox One by adding the ES RAM, which made it more expensive to make than the PS4, which was more powerful than it. They chose to go with the ES RAM because of the speed, but then it cost it more just for that little bit and ended up bottlenecking its whole system. While Sony made a system that didn't have the ES RAM, thus was cheaper, yet they put it together and it was more powerful. Now to Microsoft and PlayStation's credit, Microsoft is a software company. PlayStation is a hardware company. You know what I'm saying? Sony is a hardware company. Microsoft is a software company. They specialize in what the fuck they do. Sony will always make premium consoles. Always. They always have. They always will. They always will innovate on the technologies inside of a console. All right? Always. I'm not talking about power. I'm just talking about the build. It was much smaller, and it was much faster, and it was much better than an Xbox One. And it was all because Microsoft and their guys, the same niggas who, want, who who built the Xbox 360 and fucked it off, got too worried about making sure it's cool, but at the same time wanted to to pick the wrong fucking parts in, to, in order to make their console. And they came out at the same time. So then that argument comes with the old resolution. When, when Call of Duty Ghost, whack-ass Ghost came out and it was 1080p, on the motherfucking Xbox, I mean PlayStation 4, I think 720p on the Xbox One, that showed just how bad it was. And and then the reason why, I don't know why Xbox keep on saying that, oh, you guys are talking power, now you're talking games. No, we PlayStation has always talked games. It's only a given that PlayStation is going to give you games. They have so many studios, they have so many titles that they own that it's natural, it's not a worry that games will come out. Games never come out. A lot of games never really come out on launch day. All right? That's number one. Number two, the PlayStation was a whole $100 cheaper than the $100 more Xbox One, but was way more powerful. That was the problem. It wasn't really that games were coming out at this resolution. It was that it costed more and you got less. And you had to have a, a, a connect that you didn't want. All right? It's bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. You can't blame nobody but Microsoft for that. All right? Now, don't get me wrong, cuz. The Xbox isn't a bad console. And like, I never said it was a trash-ass console. I said the people who are behind it are trash as fuck, naturally. It's a capable console. It can do shit. It is, it, it's become that now. It's, it's just become so much people are worried about resolution and, and not worried about quality of game. And, and that's what the Xbox One X's problem is going to be now. It's going to be that people are more worried about resolution than actual gameplay or actual games or actually how games look. People think resolution is how a game looks. It's only a, a factor in the total look of a game. It's only the sharpness. God damn. Microsoft want to sit there. They want to make a 
powerful console, powerful enough to make games that look way better than the PlayStation. But instead of having that focus being looking better than the PlayStation, they just want to make it the focus 4K. They have already made that mistake. Games like Crackdown look like shit, and it looks like shit because they want to make it 4K. You niggas can, like like I say all the time, lose me with Forza, my nigga. Racing games ain't really demanding at all. Nigga, Recore is more demanding than fucking Forza, all right? Not to mention, it's a different engine. It's a racing engine. You're driving in fucking circles. That's it. It's not even Forza Horizon. You know what I'm saying? So, lose me with that shit. Please, God, just look at the shit from a realistic aspect. Just look at Crackdown. Just look at Sea of Thieves. Just look at State of Decay. You know what I'm saying? Look at these games. Look at them. Does it matter if they're 4K? Does it matter if Sea of Thieves is 4K? Would it look any fucking better? You need to see that type of graphics, nigga, sharp? Huh? Like, like, nigga, when you got a PlayStation with a weaker console, they got... Every game that it has a triple-A first-party game that's coming out for the PlayStation, the exclusive games, each and every last one of them look better than any game coming out for the Xbox. Any game. Nigga, Death Stranding, killing them. God of War, they only show the motherfucking one teraflop PS4 version of God of War. That's, that's all we have seen. We have not seen a, a pro version of the shit, my nigga. And that shit is killing it. That shit is killing a six teraflop console, my nigga. It is killing them. All right? You got fucking state, I mean, day, days gone, my nigga. And you look at days long and you look at State of Decay and you tell me who went in there, my nigga. Just, just tell me who went in. You know what I'm saying? State of Decay looked like a 360 game. Crackdown looks like a 360 game. See if these look like a 360 game, cuz. They have not evolve. They don't seem to know what it takes to, to, to make games look, play, and feel better. To feel like a better generation. And it's sad because they have the opportunity to show you know to, out, to upstand or give challenge to PlayStation. Nintendo clearly isn't. Nintendo clearly is more fucking talented than anybody at Microsoft because Zelda and Mario look better than all those games I just mentioned. They look better than all those games just mentioned, and they have the least power. Resolution isn't something that you want to hold your hand around, my nigga. And the same thing goes for Sony. But like I said before, Sony sell um, 4K TVs, all right? They sell 4K TVs, so they're going to want to put 4K out there. They wanna, they going to want to put HDR out there. It only helps them. It only helps. They still got their developers making games sub-4K, checkerboard at 4k or whatever and looking beautiful as fuck so they know they don't got to worry about their studios that's why in my last video i was talking about exclusives and third-party games because exclusive games will always destroy third-party games always no matter what and it's not due to talent really it's more workload and budget you know what i'm saying it there are talented people out there. Trust me, there are talented people who can actually handle it. Like guys who do, like Rockstar. You know what I'm saying? Rockstar, them guys are talented, a talented bunch. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have a, a bomb-ass game coming out, and it's going to look bomb as fuck. Say if, it's, if we're talking about Red Dead Redemption, it's going to be bomb as fuck, but it's going to be on all consoles. You're talking about Anthem, it looks good. I still need to see more because I'm starting to hear some scary things about it, but... You know what I'm saying? I'm, I need to see more, but it's basically it's going to be another Destiny. It's going to look pretty. It has a nice concept, but it's on every console. And, and, and for the life of me, do not sit there and say, oh, this checkerboard is better than that checkerboard. No, they both checkerboard up to 4K. This checkerboard ain't better than that checkerboard. Man. I don't care what, what pixels you checkerboard it from. It, checker, it checkerboards up to the count of 4K, each and every last one of them, so it doesn't matter. You're not going to find too much of a motherfucking difference. Trust me, when Digital Foundry put it out, just like I said, I can't wait for Digital Foundry to get get a hold of uh, Assassin's Creed and Anthem for the Xbox One X. And they said the nigga said that shit was, <clears throat> they said that you were checkerboard. I called that shit straight up. I said, them games ain't going to be native 4K. And when you look at it, they're going to swim side by side and they're going to say the same thing I'm telling you right now, my nigga. There is little to no difference. Little to no difference. That's how good that technique, a Sony-made technique, is. 
That's how good it is. And Microsoft still copies. Microsoft copied off the pro. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't make their own decisions. It seems like when they do try to make their own decisions, they fuck it up even worse. They made their own decision to, to choose the ES RAM, and that's when they didn't copy PlayStation. They chose the ES RAM, and it held them all the fuck way back. You know what I'm saying? They copied AR and the Halo lens. A lot of people don't even realize how they even copied that. They saw my PlayStation coming out with the with, with they VR shit, right? And they was like, okay, they coming out with VR, but we need something, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to do VR. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to do VR, so they went for, with AR with... with, with uh, with the Halo lens. They went and showed that fucking shit off at E3, all that fucking pretty ass shit, and it cost $3,000. And they copied that. They copied the Vita and the DS with their AR. It's already been done. It's a technology that's already been done. And it was free for those machines. And respectively, those motherfuckers cost three, what, 300 max? You charging three thousand dollars for the Halo lens? Now I know it would be more quality AR than 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 what the the 3DS and the and the Vita has, but nigga, like I mean, fuck, you you copy and you copy and then you want to charge more money. It's like another mistake. Where's it at now? Where's the Halo lens at now? And where, where everybody talking about that shit? You wasted that time at E3 showing that shit off with Minecraft. Okay, then where's that? Where's that? It's three thousand dollars. Fucking VR is fucking fucking four hundred dollars for the PlayStation, my nigga. Crazy. They copied off uh, off of off of Nintendo to do the whole Kinect thing, but they tried to make it to where it was handsless. They want to be different than everybody else. With every everybody else, you have to have something in your hand. Microsoft, I mean Sony with the little move, Nintendo with the little fucking stupid ass TV remote. The the project Nathal, it was about hands free everything and they went and they went after it but they went after it too hard and nobody really you can't really do that you can't game without something in your hand you can't you just can't you got to feel the game you got to feel it you know what i'm saying so it's like it's not a appealing thing maybe kids are like it and kids did like it but it didn't get that appeal that my, that nintendo and playstation well i can't say playstation because the move just flopped i think even worse but nintendo had it because they had the characters, they had the people. You, these niggas had fucking, fucking circus games and shit. You know what I'm saying? For the connect. And that's what they focused on. Every time they go and they do their own thing, it turns out even worse. Even worse. Y'all think, y'all think Halo was a game that they, that Microsoft created? No. Because if they would have created it, it would have never been called Halo. It's already been said that they wouldn't, they didn't even want them to name it Halo. They, they paid for the exclusive to, to Halo, and then they ended up buying Halo after it was successful. Same thing with Gears, and that's why those people left. They weren't Microsoft people. They were third-party motherfuckers who were paid off by Microsoft to make games for Xbox. They have never really invested in true first-party motherfucking game makers for them. Not at all. That was the motherfucking difference. That was the motherfucking problem with them. That's always been their problem. They, they're scared to take risks. They have all this money. They're scared to take risks. They take risks on the wrong things and they make the wrong mistakes to where they end up having to pay billions to fix. Do you understand how much they lost unbundling the Connect? They didn't bundle the Connect because it had to be, obviously. They bundled it because they invested so much money in it that they had to make sure people bought it. So they had to bundle it with the system. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that that all of this stuff is bad. I'm not saying that it's like just like destroying it. It's just more like then they just refuse to to see the problems. Fanboys refuse to look at these type of problems, and then you will understand clearly why you are where you are and why it will only get worse. You can get happy over and over again. You got happy with the cloud with crackdown in the cloud. You got happy with that shit. You got happy when they boosted. The motherfucking um, clock rate for the Xbox One, and you thought it was gonna do something. You got happy when DX12 came out, and they just mentioned Xbox, and y'all got super happy over DX12, even though all the motherfucking executives was like, "It's not gonna do shit for the Xbox One. It's for PC." You ignored when Phil first got on, and he said that he's gonna blur the lines between PC and consoles. You ignored the fact that 
These people had a billion dollars to invest in first party games and never did it. Oh, y'all remember that shit? I remember that shit. Nigga, it was an article about it and all that shit about how they had a billion dollars to invest in first party games. Where did that money go? Where did it go? Huh? Where'd that shit go? It's not just they don't have no games. It's not just that they don't give a fuck. It's just that they keep making mistake after mistake after mistake. They replace a nigga. The next nigga they bring in make more mistakes after mistakes. And so the best thing that they're, they're doing right now is just PR. That's it. If you expect games to come before the, the new Xbox comes out, you crazy as fuck. They're going to come out in the next two or three years. You think they're going to just let PlayStation come out and get a, a year head start? With that name brand? With those first party studios? They can't afford to. They're already talking about how they're making the next Xbox. Them games is going to be on the next Xbox. And I, I doubt it being the Xbox family. The Xbox One family. I doubt it. I doubt it. And if it is, that's another mistake. The, the fucking mistakes of games going to PC and being PC exclusives. You know what I'm saying? Like taking the exclusives and putting it on PC. It's a move that they had to make because you guys don't really buy games like y'all act like y'all do. You know what I'm saying? And they, don't, they didn't really have the, the, the fan base or user base. To, to, to broaden their games from first party. So first party is on a critical moment right now to where they can only invest in the, in the shit that they know they can't take risks. It's not that they, well, they don't want to take risks, but they have to take risks right now, but they can't afford to. I know that sounds funny because Microsoft is a billion dollar company, but Xbox isn't a billion dollar company. Xbox is a branch. They are only allowed a certain amount of money. They have burned through that shit already. All fucking ready. That's why these games look how they look. That's why these. That's why there ain't too many first party games coming out. And that's why they gotta fucking collaborate with PC in order to help sell Windows 10. They can get more fucking money, and that way they can get more money, hopefully, from motherfuckers that's on PC. But then that's a mistake because it makes less appeal. They're gonna have to risk losing sales to Xbox. I mean, losing sales to PC niggas, because PC, I just got a PC and I, just, I play all my games on PC and don't even need an Xbox. I, I don't need to pay a fucking subscription. Fuck your subscription, nigga. I, I'm on PC, I got my games looking better right now, today, already. You can't even pre-order the Xbox One X right now, for some reason. For some reason, you can't even fucking pre-order the fuck. It's been re revealed a, a month ago, over a month ago, and you still can't, you still can't pre-order the shit. Do you understand? What I'm saying here, cuz, like it's more problems than what you niggas that I know. My nigga, I could just go back and just look at shit. You know what I'm saying? It's more problems going on right now today that we won't know about until next generation. There is something going on with the shit. I'm not saying that they're going to delay it. I'm not saying that there's a problem with it. I'm, I'm saying that there's something going on. You don't reveal a console fully at E3 and not have pre-orders that same day. People looking to pre-order the shit. For some reason, the FAA or, or somebody, FCC or some shit, is holding this billion dollar company back from actually letting go of pre-orders. There is something wrong with it. There is something to matter, my niggas. They haven't changed the, the release date. I don't know when they are. I don't know why. I don't know if they're manufacturing this shit already. I don't know, but it's more than meets the eye here, cuz. That's all I gotta say for this fucking shit, man. It's King Thrash Gaming. I'm signing off. Like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. Nigga. Get in trouble by your wife. Quit gaming completely. And all you do now is go to Target and look up motherfucking Pokemon cards. Nigga, do what you do. Where you at, Mark? You miss it. We miss you. Nigga, we miss you. Pokemon collecting ass, nigga. Do what you do. I'm gone.